Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and we are making the fireside top. Um, I haven't made this one yet and it's really exciting and cute. It's got the v-neck and it's got the little strap in the back because it's a little bit lower in the back. Um, it's a little bit of a loser fit which is really really in and um, yeah so I'm really excited about this one. Um, I don't know why it's taking me so long to sew it up but I'm excited we're sewing it up together. Um, I, um, before I get started though, let me remind you of our fun fan giveaway, a $50 Elliot Maggie certificate. And all you have to do is subscribe to our channel and comment below and you will be entered, uh, for our giveaway. So we do that monthly so you can always enter and, um, hope to win. So we're going to get started. Um, again, I'm doing the fireside top from Ellie and Mac. I already printed out my pattern and cut my fabric. So we're going to get going. I was gonna say let's get started but I already said that like 10 times today so um, I was gonna so go ahead and say something else <laughs> okay so we're gonna go ahead and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our back and we're gonna sew that side together um, you may say why did you cut it on cut it on the fold if you get the first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and cut it and put it together um, because it gives you a better shape on the back if it's if you have that seam right there at the back it gives you um, It just gives a better shape to the shirt. So that's why we do that um, That just means that I have to pattern uh, match stripe match more on this top than I really even want to But I'm willing to do it because I want it to look the best You know, so we're gonna follow the instructions and we're gonna do exactly like it tells us to do Okay, so um I want to make sure that you're sewing the inside, not the outside. You can see the sleeves kind of coming out right here as it is a dolman style top. Um, do you see that? Kind of like shoop. So that's the outside. You're sewing the inside um, of the top. So make sure that you have that taken into consideration as you're putting it together and right sides together. And I don't know if it's hard to tell in this fabric. I don't think so. This is the wrong side and the right side is this fluffy area so we're going to sew that together first and i'm using this beautiful sweater knit uh, material and i just love how soft it is so i am excited here let me show you again so you can tell, see how the, the, the outside is darker than the inside. So hopefully that will be helpful to you. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and steam that seam. I always want to steam the seam so that it is nice and smooth and this band is coming with me. Make sure that it's all facing the same way and it gives you a better, uh, what do you call it? It gives you a better uh, look. It's not all wavy and you know, yucky. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do our shoulders. I think I did pretty good lining my stripes. Yes. We're gonna do our shoulders. I'm gonna lay my piece face up on my board. And here's my shoulders. Okay. And I'm gonna grab my other uh, piece, my front. And I'm gonna lay it right sides together. So the right side with the right side. And we're gonna match out those seams. My iron is over here steaming because it had turned off and now it's turning on and when it turns on it just steams for a while okay spin those shoulder seams and here's my other shoulders um i am using my serger but if you're using um your sewing machine that's okay you just need to do a stretch stitch on your sewing machine the garbage um, it's getting picked up so anyway it's always kind of amusing to see them do it I don't know why <laughs> I'm a little child at heart okay so um, if you're using a sewing machine just figure out what kind of stretch stitch works best with the fabric you're using um, I would grab uh, as I always say I would grab a little piece of your fabric and just test out the different stretch stitches to see which one would give you the best um, stretch and all like that. So I'm going to sew those shoulders together. Shoulders 
sewn together. Again, you can go ahead and open it and steam them. Oh, I'm so excited about this top. I love oversized um, tops like this. So this is right up my alleyway. All right. So here comes the scariest part of this whole project. The neckband. Cueing the scary movie sound effects. Oh, it would be really cool if I could do stuff like that. We'll see. Okay, here's my neck band. You'll notice that it's a little bit longer than my back band, so that's how you will know. I'm gonna grab my neck band and I'm gonna fold it right sides together, wrong sides together, I'm sorry. Wrong sides together and I'm going to steam. I'll tell you this, I am a little nervous. Not that I think this step is hard, but also my fabric is a really like, Thin kind of sweater knit so I have to be sure that I steam it really really well so that it uh, stays in place I might pin it down and okay, make sure you're you're steaming those raw edges together so right down the middle make sure also that your iron is set on the right setting you don't want to burn your fabric, especially if you're using a thin sweater knit, some kind of sweater knit for this top. You want to make sure that it is nice and um, not burnt up. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and while it's not on the top yet, I'm going to fire my quarters because I want to make sure that when I put it on, it's, it's quartered. So I'm going to do that. Actually, that's one thing that I'm doing a little bit different. I'm going to do it now while it's off. So I folded it, the top is right here, the two fronts, I'm gonna go to the back and that's gonna be my back piece. So I'm gonna just kind of notch it a little bit. And actually I lied to you. I shouldn't do this now, you know why? Cause these are gonna overlap. So that's not gonna be, maybe it will be. Here's my overlap first, make sure. Yeah, it's just a little bit off. So I'm gonna move it over. Let's do that overlap first. Let me do that overlap first and then we'll do it, okay? This is what we're going to do to the front so we can overlap it. I'm gonna grab, make sure it's straight, okay? You wanna make sure it's straight. I'm gonna grab it, put one piece down and I'm gonna overlap the other one right on top of it to create that V. I'm gonna pin it and I'm gonna show it to you. See how there is one and the other one's right on top overlapping it and they are, you can see their ends right here. I'm gonna go in my sewing machine and I'm gonna sew a little uh, um, basting stitch right here so that way the V stays together. And I know you're gonna do more basting later but I'm just gonna baste these two together right here for now. That way when I go to put it on my, on my, um, top it'll be basted together and I don't have to worry about it coming off okay Whoop. see how it is on there just together I basted it on based and stitch means it's just a long straight stitch on your sewing machine that's just gonna kind of keep it down and then when you are done you can pull it off later so now my band is in a V right now ready for me to put it on but I'm gonna go ahead and mark my back See, it was a little bit off, so you wanna make sure that it's right. Okay, there's my one. And then I'm gonna fold it right at that middle area. And I'm gonna go over to the two sides. Come on. One side, two side, and I'm gonna make my quarters. You can do this after you attach the V uh, to your sweater, that's fine. I'm just doing it right now because I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's not easier. Okay, if we got the shoulder seams to the back, this is the back seam. We already have a back seam, and the front we already have a front V right here. So we're gonna grab the front V and the back seam together, and that's what's gonna give us our quarter shoulder seams. And to this top, 
it's to me it's only a little bit off the shoulder probably uh three-fourths of an inch but three-fourths of an inch it's a it makes a difference when you're sewing the neckband on so i want to make sure that i got it right all right here's our neckband dun 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 moment of truth we're going to put our V okay well before we do that sorry I gotta prep the V this is what I I was like wait a minute I'm, I'm missing a step all right I'm just clipping this all right so here's my front V right here can you see it right there okay we're gonna go from the V we're gonna go up one inch and we're gonna pin to one side and I'm gonna do the same to the other side one inch and pin it happens to be right below my white stripe right there that's an inch okay and I'm gonna go one quarter of an inch down from the raw edge I'm going to sew a stay stitch um, it's just gonna be a straight stitch that is going to help me um, give it stability um, so my my section right here my V doesn't stretch out and look all weird so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down one quarter of an inch down from the edge. I'm going to go down, stop right at the point of the V and go up with my stay stitch. Okay, let me do that and then I'll show you exactly what I did. I'm going to go one quarter of an inch. Sorry, I'm not starting at the right spot and my machine came unthreaded. I'm going to go one quarter of an inch down from the... Uh, from the raw edge starting at the pin um, and then make sure that you start at the pin and down to the V when you get to the V stop put the needle down make sure your needles down you can turn and go up the other way show you that you see it right there stop right there go up I don't know if you can really see it you kind of see it better in the back because it's pink okay so now what we're gonna do is right there at the middle where you did the V you're going to grab your scissors and I should really have my little scissors but I don't know where I put them oh, here are these Maybe these are sharper you're going to just clip that V. Where is it? Where'd you go? Oh, right here. You're going to clip that V down to where the, like open up that V, but don't cut. See how I cut right there, but don't cut the thread. So I just clipped it up until before the, e the edge of the thread. Okay. So I don't want to cut the thread. Okay. So now our top is prepped and we're going to move on to doing our neckband all right so we're going to grab this and we're going to put it right by that slit right there kind of over slaps over over laps the slit just a little bit so you can catch it when you're sewing it now what we want to do is maybe go from the back and um baste that on okay so that it doesn't move. Now you don't want to base it all the way down and it's hard to work with, but I'm just going to do a little basting stitch right there. That way it helps keep my V in order. It doesn't, I don't want it to move out. So I just kind of baste it in. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to grab it underneath my because I put it on top. So you want it to be, you want the neckband to be right sides together on the whole top. So I went from underneath because I don't want it to um, curl. So just make sure that before you attach it, it's all even. You see that? I when, After I put the V on there, I rolled it from under. Or if you want to do it from the top, just put it right on top. I, don't, I, I, I hope that didn't confuse you what I just did. 
I had my neck band was like on top. So I went and tucked my whole hood under so that my right, my raw edges are facing up and my right sides are touching all around my neck band. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start by grabbing. So here's a side of my neck band. Here's my V right there. And we're going to start by tilting it so that it's at the raw edge of the top. And you're going to pull it a little bit to match that seam right there. You see where we mark the quarters? You're going to match that quarter right there. So you're just stretching it a little bit, but that raw edge is going to touch. So you need to go grab that raw edge and make it touch. So we're going to go ahead and pin a couple more pins. Usually when I do a neck band, I just have like my quarters pinned, but I'm going to pin a couple more pins right here. And then I'm going to show you exactly what I did. See my V right there? I just went sideways to go up my V. Then I'm on this other one, I'm going to go sideways the other way. And it'll be overlapping right there, like sideways. Does that make sense? It's really easier than, than um, you would think it is. And that's why sometimes you're like, oh, am I doing this right? I'm confused. You are doing it right. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side and pin. And then I'm gonna show you again what it looks like. So now I'm kind of tilting it sideways the other way so that the V it's turning to go this way. You see what I'm saying? And the fabric that is overlapping, I'm gonna catch that when I sew it. And I'll show you in a minute what I mean by that. I think that once you have it in front of you and you're actually doing it, then it makes more sense than when I'm just speaking the words. <laughs> okay, you see how right here, here's the V. When we're going one side, we're turning this way. I know it kind of looks like a little wrinkle here, but then it'll, it'll match up when I turn it around. You see? Here's my V right here in the corner waiting, and I'm gonna sew shoot this way and then this way. Okay, so when I'm sewing, I'm just going up and then over on my V. And then my back, I'm gonna match my back point right here. And if you feel like it, if you feel like, oh, I don't know if I can do this, this is kind of scary. Um, I would suggest, I usually do all my neck bands on serger, which I'm going to do serger on this, even though it is kind of scary. Um, but if you want to, I would suggest doing a straight, a stretch stitch on your sewing machine um, and doing that first because I feel like you have more uh, control of a, sewing of a sewing machine when it does the neckline than um, on your serger. So um, if you want to go ahead and do that on your, on your sewing machine first and say and then be like, okay, this is good. Um, I got it right. And then and then go back with it um, with your with your serger. Then you can do that um, if you want to do if you want to do that. Uh, I'm trying to go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing, um, and I'm probably gonna go ahead and start at the back. And when I get here, I'm gonna go up and then go sideways. So I want to make sure that it goes evenly at the V. Okay. I'm always placing my neckband face up when I'm sewing because I wanna see how much neck band I'm taking and I'm gonna stretch lightly as I go around the neck band. I don't feel like I have to stretch as much because I already, because I pinned a lot more than usual. Usually I have to, I feel like I have to stretch more because I don't pin that much. But here we go. Okay, I am at the knee. All right, I'm going down to the edge. And I just went right off the edge and then I'm gonna come back over, tilt it and go out, go up again. You want me to show you? I'm gonna show you what I did. 
I know that sometimes I am a very visual person, so I like to see exactly what, what is she doing? Okay, I went up and off the edge. Then I'm gonna grab the other piece and turn it, see how it's right there. I'm gonna start right there and go shoop. Okay, does that make sense? I hope so. Maybe that helped a little bit. If you're nervous about this V, we all are. We all are. We all are. All right, here I go. And then later I'll show you how I tuck in that um, serger tail. That way you can fix it. All right, my neck band is done. What I'm gonna do now is take off all those basting stitches. So that way I can really see what it looks like and show you what it looks like. And you can see, you can still see all the basting stitches I have to pull off cause it's pink, but look at how great that looks. You see that? Do you see the back? What I'll do is I'll tuck this up into there like that and zigzag stitch it on. Just, my, just on my seam, not on my top, on my seam. I'll zigzag stitch that on right there. Or if you're doing, if you're top stitching your top, then just get it caught on that top stitch. Perfect V, wasn't hard, it wasn't hard. Now I just have to go back and pull all this uh, basting, pink basting stitches and it's done, okay? We wanna go ahead and steam. Again, make sure that your iron is set on the right setting. If you wanna go ahead and top stitch that, um, you can do that. I'm not going to top stitch. I am, um, I'm okay at top stitching, but not great, good, not great. So I don't wanna mess up a good thing. All right, now we're gonna attach the sleeves. If you're doing sleeveless, um, you can go ahead and sew up the sides because this is not sleeveless, this is a dolman, so it kind of would hang down a little bit. But I'm doing sleeves, so I'm gonna go grab my sleeve and I'm going to place it right sides together at the edge. And you know, you're gonna know what the top and the bottom is, obviously because of the fact that the top is wider than the bottom. So it should fit. The bottom, uh, it's not. I'm, I pulled it too tight on this side, see? There's like an edge. Okay, and then, um, yeah. This is gonna be so great right on time because it is chilly outside. Um, it doesn't get chilly here very often. So I have to take advantage of the chilly days to wear my, uh, my sweaters. I guess you call her sweater. Um, I don't really, we don't really have a, like a jacket weather, <laughs> jacket weather. I guess we kind of do. We get um, used to the warm weather and then when it's a little bit cold, it's like 60s and you're over here freezing to death. When some of y'all have like 30 degree temperatures, I would die, literally. Okay, I'm gonna sew the sleeve on. I'm gonna sew both since I pinned both of them already. And then we're gonna sew the sides. We're gonna do our back and we'll basically be done. And by back, I mean just our strap. So that's pretty easy. All right. Sleeves are on. Yes. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and sew these sides. And what we're going to do is, first off, we can go ahead and put our, line up our um, seams. Right here is my armpit seam. Oh, my fingers are so dry. My hands are so dry. I don't know if this happens to you. My um, fabric sticks to my fingers sometimes. It's so annoying. All right, and we're going down the sleeve I'm matching my stripes, trying to, we'll see. I'm not the best at it, but I can always try. And then we're gonna go down the side, but this cute little top has a vent. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go and line up. I'm lining up my sides. And then I'm gonna measure one and a half inches from the bottom, one and a half inches from the bottom, and I'm going to pin right there because that's where I'm going to stop at one and a half, I'm four and a half inches. 
I don't know if I said one and a half, but I mean four and a half. Four and a half inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew that whole side. Stop at four and a half inches. And I'm gonna do the same thing for both sides. Let's do it. We are four and a half inches out. Okay, we're gonna open it up, that slit right there, and we're gonna fold it up and we're going to hem it. We're just gonna top stitch it open like a hem. Okay. Easy peasy. And don't worry too much about it. I know that sometimes we get all concerned about how is it gonna look. Um, it will look fine. Uh, just make sure right here if you want to sometimes the tip corner is kind of a little bit harder so if you want to what I would do is I'd come from the top and top stitch or and sew all the way up and then I'd come this way and sew all the way up and then you'll close up in a V does that make sense um, instead of going up and turning if you're doing it with a sewing machine uh, it might be easy to do it that way it's up to you but sometimes it's easier for me or what I will do is I'll sew right here straight I don't know if you've ever seen the tops and they have like a back stitch right there. So I'll sew straight and then I'll go around it. Um, since it's a slit that opens to the side, a straight stitch, honestly, I think a straight stitch would be fine. But I'm going to do my cover stitch because I just have a cover stitch, so it's easy. But let's move on to the next step because I can go back and do that a little bit later. Um, so, but we want to move on to our next step. And I'm going to show you something I did because I want you to see it. And I want to show you how I can fix it. I forgot. I always tell you, and today I didn't, and today I forgot. When you're sewing your sleeve together, make sure that you're looking to see that your fabric is all getting cut. And it wasn't. So I'm going to go back with my serger and just kind of sew that shot. And then after I'm done with y'all, I honestly, I'm going to go back and look at all my things because as I'm talking to you, I realized that I didn't do that earlier. Then I'm gonna have to go in later with my sewing machine and search those seams, those uh, serger tails in so they're not just hanging out. So I am going to go back and look at all my seams because I usually, like I always tell you, oh, make sure that you're catching all your seams. Well, I didn't make sure this time. I was just kind of rushing because I was scared about the V. But look at that. Ah, amazing. I'm so excited about this. Can you tell? All right, I'm gonna grab my um, back strap and I'm going, that sounds so funny, back strap. Because when I say back strap, I'm thinking of, <laughs> I know this sounds bad. I'm thinking of food. I'm thinking of like um, uh, back strap on, um, on a hog. And the reason why is because uh, my husband hunts. Um, so he's been, um, bringing food to the table. So I just, I don't know. I think about that, but anyway, um, we're going to fold it right sides together. So that was right sides together. So I'm looking at the wrong side right now, and then I'm going to sew it together that raw edge. Because this is going to be, um, my scissors are so dull. This is going to be, you're gonna turn this right side out and I'm looking to see where my pins are. Oh, I see them. They are over on the other side. It's almost like they hide from me. Okay, my pin, I'm gonna grab a pen and I'm just gonna turn this little guy around. And then after I turn it around, I'm going to steam it down. I should really just put this stuff back where it belongs. And then I will not wonder where it's at next time. Maybe. All right, now I'm gonna flatten it out and I'm gonna steam it. I'm gonna grab my top 
and I'm going to find my back. Remember, my front is the one that's got the V, so my back is the rounded edge with the seam down the back. I'm gonna measure an inch from my uh, shoulder seam. <clears throat> one inch from my shoulder seam, which happens to be where this white line is. I'm gonna turn it. I'm just gonna turn it inside out, that way I can see it better. I'm gonna grab it in the right side of my um, band, my strap is touching the back of my um, neck band. Um, you can, right here, if you want to, you can put some, um, what is that called? The stretchy stuff, elastic. You can put some elastic inside your band to give it stability. If you have like a very loose fabric, this has got good stretch, but it's not horrible. Um, but if you want it something that makes it a little bit tighter, you can do that. And honestly, if you want to try this on and you feel like, um, your shoulders are narrower, and your band is not tight enough, you can cut the band smaller and kind of fit it to your size. So that's uh, another neat thing. If you wanted to close tighter, um, it's up to you. So now we're gonna go ahead and just top stitch right, you can do it right on the ditch right here if you don't want it, if you don't want somebody to see it. Um, but if you are top stitching your neck band, I'd say go ahead and, and run it to throw toward, <laughs> do it when you're top stitching your neck band. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew that up and then we'll be done. All I have to do next is hem. Now, we're gonna do a half an inch hem, and since I have already hemmed the edges, it's just super easy, because you just go fold it half an inch and go right off the edge, and that's it. So we are done with our top. I hope you enjoyed this sewing tutorial. I hope you conquered that v-neck and you weren't too scared about it there's nothing to be scared about it's super easy it was a little bit scary but we got it done tell me let me know below if you thought that was hard or if it was pretty easy for you um i thought it was pretty easy it was a little bit scary at times but we got it done and i'm glad we got it done together um if you have any questions please comment below and let me know ah oh i know you always kind of ask me what i'm wearing i'm wearing um the watch and see and you can't even see it right now it's like the high low um skirt and it's, this is a double brush poly it's supposed to be um mary poppins inspired if you haven't noticed um and it's from olga's closet fabric and so is this um sweater knit um th this is a sweater knit i'm working with um it's got pretty good stretch uh vertical stretch not very much um horizontal but um yeah so um, I'll take a picture so y'all can see it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment, like, share, um, subscribe if you haven't. Come join our Facebook or Instagram page where we're doing a whole lot of other things um, so you can see what we're making and we can see what you're making. If you'd like to share with us, please. Um, I hope you have a good rest of your day and I'll see you all next time. Bye.